morning, morning, everyone. Can you hear me? I have a very bad throat, so I'm trying to be as loud as I can. Can you hear me at the back? Perfect. Thank you. So what I'm going to be talking about is he touched upon the transformation, human possibilities of technology. We are all surrounded by technology in some shape or form. But what does that mean or what difference could that bring to the human life? Human possibilities of technology is what I'm touching upon. I come from India, as said. It's a country of about 1.1, 1.2 billion people. Uh, crowded, creative, but not necessarily fully disciplined. This is a scenario which I come across every other day, that there is an ambulance stuck in heavy traffic. And a face sticking out of the window which is desperately trying to will the traffic away so that he can get his or her loved one to the hospital care. Myself, I have been right ahead of this ambulance more than once, where I am desperately trying to give way to this ambulance to go through, but I cannot, just because there is not enough space to move. And that face, which is sticking out of that window of this ambulance, is then staying with me. And I'm thinking it could be someone whom I love tomorrow, a couple of days down the line, one year. But what would it feel like? How desperate would it be that you know, you've got into the ambulance, but you just can't get to the hospital in time? And that's very painful indeed. It, it probably will stay with anyone who goes through this for a long, long time. It could be a life-changing experience. So the question, human possibilities of technology, so the question we started to ask ourselves is, what if we could get this person to the hospital a day earlier than actually he is getting to the hospital on? So could we get him to the hospital a day earlier? So let's keep that question in mind, and let's build upon that. Could we have got him to a hospital one day earlier? And earlier being the operative word, once we got him into the hospital, would his medical history be available to the doctors an hour before he got to the hospital, full history? Would his vitals be available to the doctor before he got to the hospital? So the moment he got to the hospital, right that minute, his treatment began rather than the analysis. That his treatment began rather than the analysis. So that's what we are trying to achieve with human possibilities of technology. That's what the technology with its human flavor can achieve. Now, that's the one question which we come to. The second one is, again, I stay with India a little bit, but you get to a hospital, and the hospital looks something like this. Well, it's one of the extreme pictures. It's not that bad, but it's crowded. There is waiting times. Uh, there is waiting time for the doctors, there is waiting time for the beds, it is expensive if you go to the right hospital or the, uh, you know, the high-quality high hospitals. So the next question which comes up is, as the world around us is aging, the population is going up, the infrastructure of healthcare just cannot keep pace. So if the population of the world goes up by 10% in a year, we just can't build 10% extra hospitals. So how about that if technology could allow us to build 30% additional capacity in healthcare without having to build a single new hospital. So, two questions. One, getting the person to the hospital a day before and getting his treatment started the moment he touches the hospital, or actually much before even he touches the hospital. The second, can we create 30% additional capacity without building a new single building? That is the human possibilities of the technology which we have today. And let me just now go a little bit deeper into how would that work. So today, most of our healthcare, most of our healthcare begins when we hit the hospital, right? So Somebody in an emergency condition gets to the hospital, he gets to what we call as ICU. So let's say that there are three phases in his hospital care. The phase one where he has 100% care and expensive care and he's occupying a full bed. 
So that's the phase one of the hospital care, typical. The phase two is that he moves into a slightly reduced level of care. But he's still occupying the full bed. His care has gone down, and so have his costs. And then we have the third phase where it goes down even further. Now, what the technology can do is two things. One, that we can almost fully remove the phase three and get all that person into, into the home. So how nice would it be to get your loved one home faster? If you get it, the person to home, the care stays, you have vacated in hospital bed, and your costs have gone down. So you, by removing the phase three completely, you have now created one third of additional capacity in the hospital. In addition to that, with the technology we have at hand today, we have on the left hand side of this chart, a preventive predictive care where your time to get to the hospital can be delayed. So, so let's think about this, that if we could bring with human possibilities of technology, we could present omnipresent healthcare to everyone. A healthcare which bridges the gap between high quality medical equipment to near, near medical grade affordable equipment which you had at home, which could monitor each of us 24 by seven, flag up when you needed to get professional care. So you are doing a lot of care prior to the event. And then the event happens, you get to the hospital, but you get home faster. This is really the human possibilities of technology, which we believe with the technology which we have available around us, we can bring to life in the healthcare field, in many other fields. But if I want you to take back one message here, human possibility of technology, getting to the hospital a day earlier and creating 30% more capacity without adding a single new building. That's where I would leave you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.